financial accounting. We're talking about the statement of cash flows. And the second, second section of the statement of cash flows has to do with investing. Where did your cash come from or spend for investing activities? And we, you'll recall that investing activities come from your non-current assets. In other words, from your long-term investment accounts and from your plant asset accounts or property plant and equipment accounts. We're going to take a look in particular at an investment account. And you'll remember that the anatomy of an investment account, uh, it's an asset, so it always has a debit beginning balance. Uh, you increase investments whenever you buy investments and you decrease investments whenever you sell investments and that will give you your ending balance. And that's the only thing that happens in this investment account. Now, the question is, is looking at this activity in this account, how much cash did we get or did we spend for investments? Now, it's pretty easy to figure out how much cash we spent for investments because it's always what you buy. So if I bought investments, of 116,000. That means that's the cash that's going to go out or the cash outflow. And so that would be what? Deducted when I do my statement of cash flows. So cash outflow, subtract. The tougher part is when I look at when I sell investments. Now when I sell investments, it's a little bit more involved because the journal entry you may remember is I'm going to debit cash for however much cash I receive when I sell this investment. I know that I'm either going to debit or credit a gain or a loss and I know that I'm going to credit investment. So when I sold this investment that cost me 78,000, I really want to know how much cash did I receive. Well, the problem, and this is exercise 8, also tells me that the income statement showed that we had a loss on the sale of this investment of $13,000. And you'll remember that in the operating section, that loss of 13000 would be added back to the operations. In the entry, when we recorded this uh, sale, we debited loss for $13,000. So the question here is, is how much cash flowed in because I sold the investment? And that's what's going to show up in the investing section. So $78,000 minus $13,000 is uh, $65,000. So what's going to show as a cash inflow in your investing section is that 65000 So when we do the statement of cash flows, we're going to show 65000 as a cash inflow, and we're going to show the 116000 as a cash outflow as far as our investing activities are concerned. So cash in, cash out. Change in cash, more cash is going out than coming in. So the next thing we're going to look at is plant assets, which also impacts the investing section.